Welcome back to What's Up. We're happy to announce a new segment here in our program called Celebrity Fit. Here we'll feature inspiring fitness and healthy living stories of local and international personalities. To start off, Physique TV attended Urban Bistro's Hijack Our Kitchen event to secure an interview with Dubai RJ Chris Fade. This unique dinner concept allowed Chris to take control of the menu and at the same time donate part of the proceeds to charities, helping disabled kids here in the UAE. Let's go see how Chris Fade's fit lifestyle influenced the menu, plus find out what the guests thought of the food. Here's Sahara. I'm here with Chris Fade. He's taking over the Urban Bistro's kitchen for the Hijacked Our Kitchen event. Chris, welcome to Physique TV. I've never hijacked anything in my life and I'm ready to do it with Urban Bistro tonight. This is going to be amazing. Fantastic. Do you have a specific passion for food or cooking? Funny enough, I work on radio, okay, so I work on a Virgin Radio here in, in Dubai and before I got into radio, I worked in a cafe for six years and I came into a fork in, my, in, my, in the road in my life where I could have gone on to continue managing slash owning a cafe in Sydney or pursue the radio career and I chosen to give it a risk and try the radio thing which has worked out pretty well but I was cooking, I was in the back of the kitchen, I was prepping up, I was doing everything so I know food somewhat. So as a would-be restaurateur, when you were contacted to be the host for Hijack Our Kitchen, what was the first thing that came to mind? Why, where have you been? Why has it taken this long? I've been here for six years. Um, I was ready to do it. I thought this is cool. You get to sort of go back here and speak to the chefs that really know what they're doing. I'm not a chef. I just throw things together and it was a cafe. It wasn't a restaurant. But uh, these guys here at Urban, I've eaten, I've eaten here a few times before. Their food's amazing. So to be able to sit one on one with a chef and say, okay, this is what I like. How can you mix it up? They give you suggestions. You sort of give something back. And then tonight's the night. Everyone's ready to go. We're all ready. We're hungry. Well, when you had to create the menu, you had to choose out of all your favorite dishes, three of your favorites yeah. for a three course meal. How did you come down to the choices? I've had a bit of a life change over the last sort of 16 months and I've really changed the way that I've been eating. I've dropped a lot of weight. I've been getting a lot healthier. So chicken was my main sort of the base of the main meal. I love chicken. I eat it all the time. Um, I love sushi. So I know we incorporated that into the menu as well. And then as a little bit of a cheat, uh, Nutella. I, don't, I haven't really met anybody. I think if you had about 200 people in a room and you said, who loves Nutella? I think 198 people would say, I love Nutella. Do you love Nutella? I love Nutella. Okay, so everyone loves Nutella and I think that's why. So between it all, I think the guys behind us are going to enjoy tonight and we'll see. Now you've touched on it in your last response. Your health, diet, fitness has taken quite a change. Yeah. You're quite active on social media with your videos about your new fitness routine, your eating programs, even have your own hashtag, Fade Fit. Yes. How has that influenced the way you eat and the foods you choose and cook? Um, well, I think I never, before I moved to Dubai, I was fairly fit. Um, I had a decent lifestyle. Then I came here and doing morning radio, you know, you wake up at 4.30 in the morning and you don't have much sleep and you get home and you just feel constantly jet lagged most of the time. So it just took a bit of a toll on the body. I got lazy. I started to just eat whatever I wanted. Also had a couple of children between there. So the responsibilities became bigger. It was less on me, more on everyone else. And then about a year and a half ago, I just thought, you know what, I was getting out of control. I think I was about heaviest I was, was 123 kilos. Um, and it wasn't solid muscle. So I just knew I had to do something and I dropped probably 15 kilos in the first two months and that was just literally dropping down the calories, went to 1600 calories, eating sort of really good food but just less of it and uh, healthier. And then I lost a bit of weight and I thought, you know what, I want to keep going with this. And so it's been about close to 30 ki kilos in the, in the entire process over about 16 months. Um, I'm doing really good at weights now, I, did a, I picked up CrossFit, I've done yoga, I'm doing everything really. And, it's addictive, I think, you know, you would know too. I do close to two hours a day now, six days a week. If I miss that one day, I get angry. Even in my day off, I feel guilty. I don't have cheap meals a lot of the time because I feel guilty, but I've got a process and I put on Instagram the other day that, you know, I, I had a goal and I got to it and now I want to set another goal. I think you just keep setting goals for yourself when you hit this weird fitness thing. And people that aren't in it don't understand it. They're like, oh, what's he doing? But like once you're in it, you can't escape, you know? And, I'm in it right now and I hope to stay with it for the rest of my life. 
Well, we feel as Dubai, being the profile that you are, that we've been part of your transformation and you've referred to the experience and the journey, but what would you say was that defining moment that made you think, hang on, I want to do things differently? It was probably just a moment where I was really heavy and I thought to myself, I, I want to get fit. I've got two beautiful girls and I thought, my little girls, my children, so I was like, I want to make sure that I'm around with them for as long as I possibly can. So I just thought, let's just get fit. At the same time, you feel so much better. Like physically, you look better, but mentally, it's one of the main reasons why I went to the gym. I, I used to get a lot of anxiety in the sense of I used to work a lot, you know, and you're just always on it. So to go to the gym and just put the headphones on and shut everyone out for 90 minutes, it was like my time. It still is my time. It's the one, it's the one time of the day that I really enjoy. Can you talk us through your exercise routine? Do you have a set program? You mentioned that you do try a lot of different things, but what would you say your routine would be? I started off doing CrossFit for the first sort of six months and I dropped a lot of weight on that and it was really good. It was intense, it was full on, it was, you know, 45 minute sort of workouts, but they were high intensity. I was burning probably, you know, about 1100 calories every single, um, every single workout. I've dropped off um, and, I, and I leaned out a bit, but I wanted just to bulk up a bit more muscle. So um, because I was 124 kilos, if I was just losing the weight but not keeping up the muscle, it wouldn't have, it would have just been like yucky, floppy stuff, if you know what I mean. So is that too detailed? Um, so I picked up the weights and now my routine's pretty simple. I get in there, I'll do, you know, 45 minutes to an hour worth of weights every single day, depending on what body part we're up to. Um, I'll then do some ab work four, day, four times a week and then I finish off with the cardio sort of regime. I'm not doing too heavy on cardio right now. I do about 40 minutes on the treadmill, really high incline and at about speed six. Um, I'm sweating at the end of it. I burn probably 400 calories on that, so. Last question, what advice? There are a lot of people that might have been at the crossroads you were at. Yep. What advice or tips could you offer people that are at that stage where they're considering a healthier lifestyle, healthier body? Just do it, man. Like, I have a lot of people come up to me and they'll be like, wow, you look amazing. Uh, last year I saw you, da, da, da. Oh, I wish I could do that. I don't have the time. And I was like, as soon as they said they don't have the time, I'm like, you do have the time because uh, I know that I'm, my, my schedule is pretty hectic all day but put your gym work as a priority so before doing whatever you have to do I put that first you know I make sure the kids are good I'm good okay I'm going to the gym I'll be back in 90 minutes you know like even before I came here I've been up since 4 30 I got a 20 minute power nap uh, I woke up I just did a shorter session today I did a, about a 60 about an hour session because I knew I was coming here tonight which I would not usually do on a weeknight and now we're here, but I didn't miss out on that. You know, I wanted to fit it in. So find the time and I guarantee you will feel, uh, you'll feel better mentally, you'll feel better physically, you'll get to go shopping again and things will fit you. I went to, I used to go to h and I'd be like, these guys don't have sizes that fit me. You know, they're discriminating against the people of our size. But I realized, you know what, I was just overweight. Um, and now that I can go and just put whatever I want on, it feels fantastic. So just do it. Get out there, do it. Don't, don't, don't wait another year. Don't wait another month. Don't wait another day. People always go, I'll start on Sunday. I'm going to start on Sunday. Sunday comes along, you do it for one or two days, and then you back out. And, oh, I'll start next Sunday. Just do it now and just keep to it. Chris, thank you so much, and we cannot wait to try your menu. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. <laughs> Chef, tonight's menu was amazing. Can you tell us about the dishes? First of all, I don't want to take any credit of the menu because it's not done uh, by me at all. It's uh, totally done by uh, Mr. Chris Wade. Uh, he gave us a uh, few ingredients which he normally likes to have in his menu, his food. Uh, so it was much easier uh, than before for me to create a menu with that. I had a great time. It was really nice being in such an intimate situation and um, I try to come to all of these whenever I'm in town. Um, and having hosted one before, it was really nice to experience it as a guest. It was really fun. I mean, I know Chris was really looking forward to this because he was like, I hope the menu's okay, you know, because I really, because literally all he eats is chicken and egg whites all day, every day. So he was really nervous about it, but I think it was really nice. You know, you get it's really intimate setting, the food, brilliant. So it was really nice. What would you say was your favorite dish and why? I have to say the risotto was so good. We were saying that it kind of tasted like a mac and cheese risotto, which is amazing because it was healthier than a mac and cheese risotto. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go with the miso soup. Uh, it was had full of flavor, uh, noodles and uh, the mushrooms. It, it was overall very light, healthy, and uh, something that I would like to order on a regular basis. Well, the dessert was great, but the chicken was the good, a good main course. I loved it, healthy as well. Chris, 
The yep. dinner was amazing. What did you think about it? I thought it, I thought it was pretty good. I, was, I enjoyed all of it. Thank you so much. There were a lot of very happy people tonight and the food was delicious. Physique TV, be your best.